Welcome to Hey, Jesus, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting it for you? What's going on, people? Subscribe to my channel. What's going on, people? It's the day of another day of another day that we call Tuesday. Anyway, the band said, what's going on, people? Hopefully, everybody's doing everything as far as being safe. And it's what we're living in the knocking down doors and making your dreams come true and practicing ignore. Now I want to talk to you about something that um, that's definitely happened to me a few times. I want to share this story with you and see if we can compare notes. Now, there's no usually when it comes to people like me, if we're up front within our sexual who we are, I feel like this. If you let people know who you are, you're never gonna get out of it because you never hear who he was. But that's just me. And they have nothing to hold over you when, you know, basically they'll try to, you know, dehumanize you. Well, you know, she was born a certain way, but now she's this way. Have you ever been in a room or on the phone with someone who forgot you was two-spirit woman, a.k.a. trans? Now, the thing is, okay, I'll give you an example. I'll use Caitlyn Jenner and just for, for fuck's sake. Okay. They'll say, oh, she's, oh, he, they don't use she, they use he, oh, he's a man, he doesn't look, you know, he looks better now, he looks better before, he, oh, look at his hands, he looks just like a man. I don't understand how a man think he's transitioned to a woman, when you'll never be a woman, and stuff like that, and remind you, they're saying it to you. Now, they're not really, it's not really connecting who they're saying it to, because they're so lost in their truth. I'm really letting you know how they feel about you as well. Now, if it's a rape, they don't really say that about me, they little sweetie. If you sleep, then stay the fuck asleep. Because sometimes the fire could be in the building. If you don't believe there's a fire in the building, guess what your ass gonna do? Get burned. And the thing is, they go in and oh, her hands, her feet, look at her, and they start describing stuff. And you get to a point where you're like, hmm. Hmm. You see the all that, huh? Yeah, look up. You know, and she would never be a woman. She, even though she, even though she trans, she got the sex change. I mean, she still look like a man, and nobody's never gonna think she's passable. She, she, she just wasted her life. And you're like, oh, she's wasting her life, huh? Hmm. And then you sit back, you think, well, damn, look at all the shit you do. But look how you waiting on her, and you don't realize who you're talking to. And I said, you know, easy, easy. Some people say, but if she's only talking about her knowing sweetie, she's talking about you too. Because the one thing I realized that when people don't share certain things in front of you, they're definitely sharing it behind your back. And I've always felt as though when people do certain things in front of you by mistake, it's the universe letting you know that people are deceiving you in your presence. It's the old thing goes, let me, I'm going to pray to God and ask God to keep all the negative things in me, away from me and bring the positive. And all your friends start leaving. All your best friends start leaving. Hell, your man start leaving. You you pray to pray, and now you're getting your answer. That's why the old saying goes, can you answer the truth? Because the truth may mean you've got to lose a lot of things. And sometimes the thing you hold dear to you, the things you love the most, is actually not there for the reason that you think. You're doing things through love, and actually doing things for convenience, or levels that you may not even be aware of. Now, I've learned with a lot of um, girls I've talked to and stuff, and a lot of them already messed around even with other women and stuff like that, but they'll never say they did it. They will sit back and they will put you down, they put your friends down, they put everybody down, they get inside the club and stuff like that, but they will never acknowledge the things that they do. I always find it amazing how they separate everything the same way um, cis men separate themselves when they have sex or the same sex type of thing. They separate themselves through these acts and stuff. You know, it amazes me how a lot of us feel as though we walk with people who really care about us and actually don't. I had to check my, I got my coffee on. <laughs> I wasn't going to do a video today. 
I just was like, no, I'm not going to do it. And, um, you know, it's the one thing you always need to think about. When somebody forgets who you are because they told us that you're just so passable, they get comfortable in their feelings and their settings, and they share with you their truth about you indirectly. I want to know if that ever happened to you because a lot of times, a lot of times people forget who you are and they share things and hurt your feelings. It may hurt you because you really love this person, but at the end of the day, you learned your truth. It's not the answer you want, but it's the truth. And sometimes people are not ready to receive the truth because the truth hurts. But that's understand one thing. It's better to know who's really rocking with you than to find out later on who's really not rocking with you at all. The one thing I think the worst thing you do is go to a battle. And when you get there to fight and you turn around, your cavalry didn't move. Now you're in the middle of a battle and people you thought had your back left you there in the battle and didn't have your back at all. And it's always feel like it's always a warning for something happens. And I learned that a long time ago is that everybody who smiles in your face is not your friend. Every person you call your sister is not your sister. Every guy you call your brother is not your brother. And if your mother and father and stuff, hey, well, at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. Whether they're good or bad and different, they're still going to be your parents. I have those problems as well. But I can accept them for who they are, but I don't have to sit around and agree with it or sit in the settings. I know when it's time for me to leave. It doesn't take a lot of time to for me to wake up. When you show with me that you're not with me or you don't like people like me, I'll leave. I'm not going to give comp, comp, like, confrontation. I'm going to argue with you. I'm not going to go at you. I'm going to receive it because I have to accept this truth. Because once you tell me how you really think, I see you differently. I just want to share this with you. I want to hear your key feedback and just put the comments. Let me know. Have you ever talked about somebody? Somebody talked about you and they forgot what you are and they start slandering gay people. They start slandering um, trans people. I mean, just shooting them down like a dog and stuff. Remind you, they're doing their hair, doing everything else. But they kind of slipped and forgot you was one of them. And yet, still. They're just bad mouthing them so bad to the degree you like, well, damn, girl, why are you even around them? Oh, I don't mean you. But you do mean them. That's why you said it. Anyway, I love you. If you're back in this, like I said before, subscribe to my channel. At the top, there's the Instagram button. You follow me, I'll follow back. Let you know I love you. And thank you for watching. Kiss the ring. All right now. Come on, baby. Let's go on Instagram. Woo! Like I said before, please subscribe to my channel. I want to hear feedback on this. Has someone forgot that you was trans or gay? And they were talking about them like a dog. And they forgot you were sitting there listening. Like, are you really saying this? I thought you cared about people. But you're one of them. How would you hanging out with me? I want you to subscribe to my channel. There's a PayPal on top. Any donation is not too little or small. Even $5. <laughs> Did you subscribe it? Oh, come on, man. Squirt on my channel. What do you mean? What's going on my channel? <laughs> Squirt on my channel. What do you mean? What's going on my channel? <laughs> Squirt on my channel. What do you mean? I want to squirt on my channel. Love you. Love you.